Animals and art collide in McCollumney Hill. But don't brush off this big girl because Charlotte is producing some award-winning work. CBS 13's Adrian Moore with the high praise for the hefty hog with a passion for painting. I already love your work. It's beautiful. This pot-bellied Picasso is proof that cloven hooves carry a lot of creativity. The first series that she did was her blue period. So that's kind of where the Picasso came from. Then she does a really pretty kind of pinkish red. So that's kind of her Georgia O'Keeffe phase, if you will. Two-year-old Charlotte is the animal artist behind nearly a dozen abstract pieces. This is 100% unique, original Charlotte art. Using kid-friendly, non-toxic paints, her owner, Jenny Manueli, sprinkles Cheerios and granola around the canvas, and then lets the nearly 300-pounder go to work. She's got unique style, and each one is so different, but it's just fun. It's super fun to see her create something and see the results. And those results don't stink. Charlotte's work recently scored some big recognition, earning her blue ribbons for first place at both the Motherlode and Calaveras County Fairs. It brought tears to my eyes just because the point's getting across, the message is getting across. This is for fun. This is for smiles. This is for inspiration. A first of its kind win for a four legged contestant with skills so popular. She now has her own Instagram or in this case, Insta ham account. I know what she's brought into my life. If I can share that with people, that's that's what it's about. Oh, it's so cute. I love the body art. Yes, get her whole around, body right? into it. Why not? Charlotte is also bringing home some bacon. Mm. Sorry, Charlotte. One of her paintings recently sold for $25. Yeah, you can see more of Charlotte's work at the end of the month when her art will be shown at the Amador County Fair.